What's up guys, Killer App with Hip Hop Science here and today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions slash initial review of the Dave East album Paranoia. Now I'll admit I wasn't too familiar with his work before this album, uh, but I did hear his name pop up in a lot of discussions. I've heard him, he's all over the place, uh, people are talking about this guy and uh, I, I learned just why out of this album. I feel like he's one of the few new rappers to bring like real lyricism to the table and he does so with like a great grungy delivery which is really engaging and gets you feeling the emotion emotions he wants you to feel. And I think that really is a strong suit that's shown throughout the album in various places, is the emotional storytelling of his like hard knock life. This is a guy who's clearly had like a very rough past and he tells it to you in a very clear and concise way which makes you feel the emotions that he felt or he wants you to feel. The album starts strong with Paranoia, which I think is a great, like, grungy starter to the album. It sets the tone for the whole album, his delivery is great on it, his flow Honestly, I feel like his flow over the course of the album and just in general might be his weakest suit because it it doesn't really vary all that much, but his delivery and his lyrics are great. Like I just think he he does what he does very well on this album. However, overall there is some some parts he can improve on, but this song in particular I think was a great start to the album, especially with the Jeezy feature was I wasn't expecting at all. Um it was great to hear him on an album again and or like that that beat was perfect for him. I feel like that song is one of the stronger pieces off this album, um, and it really sets a tone for the rest of the That having been said, he decided to follow it up with a four minute skit, which I don't think added any value to the album. Well, marginally. I feel like the whole skit could have been like tw 10 or 20 seconds if it needed to be there in the first place, and it would have done the same effect. I thought that was just a major momentum killer and really hampen, uh, dampened the listening experience a bit, I would say. The next track, Phone Jumping, did bring some of the energy back with the Wiz Khalifa feature, Amigos-esque beat, and uh, triplet flow delivery. It was, uh, honestly, I felt like this track was asking for an offset feature, but we got Wiz Khalifa, and he did definitely kill it. Like, he... I thought I was listening to Offset at certain points, but it is what it is. Um, it was a good track overall, not not lyrically the best, not much content there, but it was really a, a fun listen. And then he decides to follow it up with Jazzy, which I thought was just the biggest waste of time on the album. It wasn't him rapping, it didn't really add anything to the album I found. I feel like they could have just left it as perfect, which, uh, you know, uh, in and of itself was not the greatest song. Uh, I feel like that song, the Chris Brown feature, really brought out one of Dave East's biggest flaws is that he lacks tonal variation and he, he can't really... Him trying to do a love song really kind of scares me a little bit because like if I were a woman listening to that, his delivery would make me think that he was going to kill me at some point. So, so uh, I feel like he needs to really work on his overall uh, variation in his music. On that note, the next three tracks kind of fell flat on me. I feel like he tried to step out of his lane a bit, but he lacked the tonal variation to really do so effectively to fit the mood of the beat. Uh, the French feature... It kind of it kind of added a catchy element to it, but it didn't really save the overall drabness of the song, in my opinion. That having been said, it wasn't boring enough to make me lose interest in the album, and I'm glad it didn't because the next three tracks really blew me away. I thought they were the, definitely the highlight. He ended the album with a complete bang. First, we get Kyrie Speaks, which is just an interlude with what I imagine is his daughter, and it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the album, um, where he just absolutely obliterates the tracks. Wanna Be Me and Have You Ever demonstrated a greater emotional depth than the rest of the album so far and it really like emotional storytelling I mentioned was his like forte and he really displays that here and I, I definitely think these are the best songs on the album and if uh, if the rest of his music going forward is at the quality of these songs uh, I feel like he has a lot of potential his ceiling is very high however overall Ganted I found that this album had his highs and his lows, his lows definitely being when he tried to step out of his lane, but it was a great enough and overall good listening experience to to warrant, like, a so-so grade. I'm not sure what I would give. I'll give it a 5.5 out of 10. Mind you, the scale goes from 0 to 10, so 5.5 means it's above average. I think it's a good listen. People get this weird thing where everyone thinks that a 5 is a terrible grade. No, 5 is a good grade. 5.5 uh, is a better grade. It, Cause it, it's a big scale. I feel like zero is trash. Zero to three is like unlistenable. Three to five is listenable but questionable. Five to seven is like good listen. Seven to nine is a great listen, and a nine to ten. It really can't get better than that. I don't think I've 
ever, you know, whatever. We'll see how the scale progresses over time. But yeah, that's my uh, initial impression of the Dave East album. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure to comment and subscribe. I think there's going to be a button over here. There you are. Perfect. Uh, this is Killer App signing out with Hip Hop Science. Uh, thank you all for watching.